हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम टू दी सिमुलेशन पार्ट फोर ऑफ डायरेक्ट और कंट्रोल एक्चुअली द पार्ट फोर वाज नॉट प्लान बट इन कमेंट सेक्शन सम ऑफ द फ्रेंड्स सजेस्टेड दैट इट विल बी गुड इफ आई एक्सप्लेन दी लुकअप टेबल ऑफ डायरेक्ट और कंट्रोल मेथड सो हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दी लुकअप टेबल हैव आई इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन डायरेक्ट और कंट्रोल simulation in matlab so let's uh, catch on with the uh, today's video uh, you can see on screen the dtc lookup table which is having uh, three entries one is a uh, flux error second is uh, uh, torque uh, errors or status signal and then you have sector 1 to sector 6 uh, right and uh, this uh, on the right side you can see v1 to v6 which are nothing but the state vectors see this is the inverter which is uh, having six which is uh, it's a two level inverter and q1 to q6 uh, inverter uh, switches are to be controlled in direct or control method using this uh, lookup table so that uh, uh, it generates requires a voltage space vector and you get the required voltage at required frequency in one leg you have two switches and at any time only one switch is uh, on the other switch is off which is uh, i think uh, already known to you and when i have a particular switching combination of q1 to q6 a particular voltage space vector v1 to v6 or v0 or v7 will be generated as uh, shown on the screen the table shows the different states of the lookup table and uh, Uh, ultimately based on that uh, the rightmost uh, side shows the v0 to v7 which is generated over here right so 100010 all different combinations are shown over here which shows that uh, which switch is on and which is which switch is off right so there is something uh, one that st states that the top switch is on and the bottom switch is off zero means top switch is uh of second leg is uh, off and bottom switch is on third zero indicates the top switch of q5 is off and bottom switch q2 is on right so likewise uh, the lookup table is to be implemented so ultimately six pulses are to be produced and these six pulses uh, uh generate the required voltage at required frequency and they directly control the torque that is the principle of direct torque control right so let's see how i have implemented the direct torque control uh, in the matlab there are eight sec uh, yeah so this is the uh, flux and torque status signals hsi can have values 1 or minus 1 and hte can have value 1 minus 1 and 0 hsi will be 1 when you want to increase flux minus 1 when you want to decrease the flux right similarly hte will be 1 when you want to increase the torque minus 1 when you want to decrease the torque and 0 when you don't want to change the value of the flux so this is the status signal which is input to the lookup table now in our simulation this is the whole lookup table i would like to show you the first element which is circle through the red mark h psi is equal to 1 ht is equal to 1 and uh, s sector 1 if uh, that is a uh, status flux vector is in sector 1 then uh, v2 is the uh, stress vector which is to be selected switching vector to be selected so that is what i would like to show in this simulation how i have achieved this it is not possible to show all the states or uh, all the switching vectors in this video so i have demonstrated one similarly you can implement the others right so this is the uh, dtc controller block which you have already seen in the previous videos of dtc simulation so dtc lookup table is implemented uh, through this uh, uh, block subsystem it receives uh, three signals that is uh, HTE that is status signal of uh, the torque controller, then HSI status uh, signal of flux controller, 
and then sector information that is where is the stator flux vector whether it is in sector 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. The sectors that is 0 to 360 degree plane is divided into 6 sectors of 60 degree each. So, this information is fed to lookup table and what is inside is explained in next right. Now, these are the uh, waveforms of HTE you can see it can take 1, 0 or minus 1. So, actually we are getting these values. This is uh, what is shown in the simulation. This is the output of HTE where I have put the scope and shown it for uh, your reference. You can say you can see it is having all three values 1, 0 and minus 1. This is HSI which can take value 1 and minus 1. So, it is a two level uh, stresses band controller and these are the sectors third input. So, you, you can see it. Uh, this is the duration in which sector 1 is on. So, this is the duration in sector 2 that is stator flux is in sector 2, this is sector 3, sector 4, sector 5 and sector 6. You can see at any time uh, only one uh, pulse is high, the others are not high. That means stator flux is either, uh, stator flux can be in any of these 6 uh, sectors only, it cannot be at in two different sectors at any time. So, whatever we have, uh, whatever simulation block we have uh, arranged, they are working perfectly fine and stator flux is in one only, right. So, now whatever is the status signal, say uh, HSI is equal to 1 and HT is equal to 1. So, that is what we are giving it to. It is available and through this block, we will be giving it to the first subsystem. First, first subsystem is for HSI is equal to 1 minus 1 and then second is for HSI is equal to 1 minus 1 0 levels and that information is given to second which is a purple color. So, when the particular condition is satisfied that is say you can see the first one that HSI is equal to 1 and HT is equal to 1 then an, an enable uh, or one signal will be generated and then it will be given to the next subsystem which is with the green which is marked as a P1 right. So, what is inside that block will be discussed in the next slide. Uh, of course, I will show the simulation also in the uh, later part of this video. So, the sector information and this enable signal is used by the last uh, uh, P1 block, P1 subsystem and pulses are produced. Uh, by the uh, the last subsystem. Now, this is the last subsystem green color which is using H i is equal to 1, H 3 is equal to 1 as an enable signal and if this is true then only uh, the further signals will uh, be uh, useful otherwise uh, it is going to be all zeros and operation is used over here. Now, if the sector is in 1, we, we know H i is equal to 1, H t is equal to 1 and the stator flux is in sector 1, then V 2 is to be generated. So, V 2 will be generated by this subsystem and uh, it is 1 0 0. So, pulses will be 1 0 0 1 0 1. So, this is what we is already there in lookup table and we are going to implement it through it, right. If the the, it is in second uh, say other different sectors then uh, different switching uh, voltage vectors V3, V4, V5, V6 are to be generated and that we can easily uh, produce. How these they are uh, generated will be discussed when I show the simulation 5. All the signals are then given to an OR block. So, OR operation does not disturb the original signal and the output is uh, given to the end gate where the enable signal and uh, the uh, set of signals are compared. So, if this condition that is H i and H t is 1 then only the further pulses will be going out right. So, likewise uh, the lookup table all the lookup table conditions we can uh, uh, you can we can satisfy that is H i is equal to 1, H t is equal to minus 1 and all different sectors H i is equal to uh, minus 1 HT is equal to 0 and all different sectors like that right. 
so all the different subsystems are ultimately checking all different conditions of the lookup table and the pulses six set of pulses are given all these are uh, having a uh, input to the common or gate and then final output is the pulses right so you can see the final pulses which are given to the uh, inverter as a switching arrangement so you can see the q1 q4 first leg uh, q3 q6 second leg and q5 q2 third leg you can see at any time only one switch is high in in each leg when q1 is high q4 is low similarly when q3 is high q6 is low and so on and so forth right so likewise we can see a beautiful pwm pulses are produced and uh, uh, these are the firing pulses given to the inverter which is actually producing the uh, output voltage at required frequency which is controlling the torque which is also controlling the flux right so now i think uh, we are good to go towards the simulation file and uh, see how the simulation is done So I'm opening the simulation file. This is my MATLAB window. This is my, I'll go to the original main window. So this is my uh, main screen. This is DTC control subsystem in which you can see the DTC lookup table. In that, this is the first subsystem which is uh, having HSI and HTE as an input. We have already checked the plus one, minus one, uh, yeah, now this is the HSI subsystem in which you can see I have just uh, carried out OR operation with 1 and minus 1. So I have a de definite uh, 1 or minus 1 as output with HSI is equal to 1 or minus 1. Similarly, in HTE subsystem also I have generated 1 minus 1. Now the same information is given to the next block. Now in that uh, this is HTE once again where uh, I have 1 minus 1 in 0 status signal as output of this subsystem. Now this is the second one in which now it is already uh, generating enable signal. So when HSI is equal to 1 and HT is equal to 1 it will generate a high signal. So that is the first combination and then this information is given to the green uh, P1 subsystem. Now, which is using the information, uh, we have already discussed this block in our uh, presentation also. So, enable is 1 and now if the sector is 1, V2 will be generated, if sector is 2, V3 will be generated and so on. And final operation is nothing but the output pulses. So inside the subsystem, if you wish, we can see the in sector, you have six signals after which first is used and all other six are terminated. So that's first signal that is sector one, if it is true is given to the next block. So if sector one is, uh, is it is high, then V2 is generated, right? So for V2, it is 100. Zero, zero. <coughs> so 10, that means first switch is one, then second is zero. So similarly, three set of uh, pulses, that is total six pulses are generated and uh, you have uh, V2 is equal to 100, that is 100101 pulses uh, output to the simulation. Now I think uh, I am ready to show you how the pulses are there. I will run the simulation and I will show you the pulses. A simple logical knot and all other blocks are used to generate this six set of pulses. So I'm running the simulation now. So this is going to generate the pulses only if sector 1 is high, right? So whenever sector 1 is high and as per lookup table, whatever entries are there, those pulses will be generated. So the simulation is uh, executed. You 
can see the pulses you can also see the final output pulses which are pwm pulses but no pwm technique is used it is you it is produced by direct torque control that is through the lookup table so this is the v2 similarly v3 v4 all these subsystems uh, they are uh, using the same logic but the only difference is that the combination can be different v2 was 100 uh, what is the value of v3 v4 uh, that you can find out from the uh, slide uh, the second or th third slide in which the whole table was there so very simple terminology was there and using the uh, not get we can uh, invert and produce the six set of uh, pulses which will be given to the thyristor uh, to inverter sorry so all these subsystems when they are uh, they, when they are set they are to be they, you can use this uh, in other subsystems also and the combination of v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 is going to remain unique if that particular sector is high so a sector is generally uh, once when sector one is high that means it is one and the other pulses are produced by simple operation like not and other operations right so all these signals uh, are then uh, given to or gate and then an enable signal is there enable signal is previously discussed is will be high for a particular condition only say h size equal to one h t is equal to one and so on and so forth right so likewise all these different uh, subsystems are uh, created the only difference is that in, in second one the second sector will be uh, checked in third third sector and so on and so forth so likewise all different combinations of the lookup table will be uh, compared and each uh, the output of each green block is six set of pulses only and uh, then it is given to the uh, or gate so all these pulses will be compared and the original information only will go out so at any time whichever is high that only is going to go out and ultimately we get the six set of pulses so likewise dtc lookup table is implemented in very simple manner and uh, i hope uh, you are getting the um, you can say uh, overview of how a lookup table is implemented it is difficult to explain the whole process in this video because it's a long process uh, simulation has taken a long hours but still uh, now this is the pwm pulses you can see the final pwm pulses so they are implementing the logic and not using any other pwm technique but direct torque control through lookup table these switching pulses are generated they are